Call your order the November 9th, 2015 Personnel Finance Meeting to order. We need a motion of support to approve the agenda as presented. Motion of support. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Thank you. Uh, we are now at our public comment session. Any public comment? I don't think we have any public. Okay. Move on to committee items then. Item 4A, the minutes. We need approval. A motion and support to approve the minutes from October 12th. Motion and support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, the same. Passes unanimously. Move on to item 4B. This is facilities. Welcome, Rick. Good morning, Mr. Chair, Commissioners. Have before you a request to have three phase power installed at the animal shelter. Board, questions? Commissioner Elwell? Rick, that uh, it's for the, sounds like the washer and dryer, but it's also related to HVAC for later if you decide to upgrade it. That's absolutely correct, sir. I'd so move to approve or forward the request. Support. We have a motion and support. <clears throat> All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Passes unanimously. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Now we will have that good citizen who donated that washer see it put to use. Thank you. Uh, item 4B, or 4C, Department of Aging. We have budget adjustments to do. Uh, we received additional revenue, more than anticipated, and we have some cost reductions. So, <clears throat> discussion. Any highlights from Marcy? Any highlights on it? Uh, Department on Aging budget adjustments, the highlights are at the front. And one more to add to that is uh, we're separating out federal grant funds from state funds. Normally, they, uh, for a couple of our programs, they were deposited in one revenue line item. And for county auditing purposes, it's better to have federal amounts separate. So that was another change. They get their questions answered? Any questions? Discussion? I'd move for approval. We have a motion and support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you. Okay, next up we have our finance report. Welcome, Mr. Latham. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, uh, committee members. Uh, we're reporting to you the Results of operations for the nine months ended September 30th. Our expenditure level uh, is at 74.5. Um, the budget benchmark 75 percent. So we're pretty much on on track in terms of the expenditures. Um, and if we look at the graphs, uh, that's reflected uh, based on uh, historical trends. However, we, on the revenue side, uh, the Actual revenue is, is below the historical trends, and there's a couple of factors involved there that I need to report to you. Um, the district court revenues from uh, fines and fees uh, is about 200000 less than it was in the prior year. Uh, and so that's, that's affecting the, uh, the revenue. The rest of the difference really has to do with the timing of how we receive property taxes uh, and so forth. And also has to do with, uh, try to explain, the, in prior years, the general fund used reserves from uh, the child care fund and used reserves from the health department. And those, those reserves are not available in the new year. So the transfers in uh, are less than they were in the prior year. So that's uh, beginning to be reflected in, in the monthly financials. But the main, the main issues are that 
um, the, the fines and court costs from district court are below uh, the pace of the prior year. So be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Yes. Um, it's it's a slow year, and again, they're, they're, what they will tell you is they're also dependent upon uh, the the amount of ticket activity in the community. So if if you have fewer people. Uh, fewer uh, sheriff deputies and so forth writing tickets then then also uh, that affects their um, their uh, the ability to collect the revenue um, there also was uh, <coughs> it's been resolved there was um, at the end of the prior fiscal year there was a court case that threw out certain court costs that the court could not levy levy those those costs uh, but then the legislature fixed that and, and restored it, you know, partway through the year. So again, that's that's another reflection. Okay. We're on item four E. This be J C dot truck bid and lease purchase agreement. Welcome, Chris. Good morning again. I have Mark Haas with me this morning. He is our um, fleet maintenance manager. And Mark was instrumental in helping to draft the specifications um, uh, for the, the trucks uh, and the body builds. As I reported at affairs and agencies, um, we have two different bids for um, the truck chassis as well as the uh, actually there's two bids within the two bids so a single axle and a tandem axle for chassis and then also a single axle and tandem axle for builds so it couldn't be more complicated sorry about that but within the, um, the documents that I gave you there's a chart and a table that shows the bid results so we had four responsive bids and uh, JX Peterbilt, International, Kenworth, and D&K were those firms. And you'll notice that we gave a recommendation to award to D&K, which happens to be when you tally up the numbers, at least in the uh, single axle, <coughs> happens to be the highest bid at 712000 And for the tandem axles, kind of fell uh, somewhat in the, the lower tier or the middle. So uh, Mark and I have talked a little bit, and Mark had prepared some notes. Um, Mark, do you want to address uh, our recommendation both for body build and single? You had a few notes. Maybe you can go through to help give a perspective. Um, one of the biggest reasons uh, we chose what we did um, was serviceability uh, across the board. It comes in a wide variety of, uh, um, excuse me, I'm not really a speaker, so it might take me a minute. Um, and serviceability, you might argue, is not a word either. So. But it is where, where we come from. Um, basically, it boils down to um, you know, we, we picked the, the vendor that meant our needs. Um, and that is in a, a form of uh, serviceability as far as uh, parts, uh, being able to obtain parts, to be able to interchange parts to down the road, um, along with uh, the dealership being a you know, state-of-the-art facility. Um, it also comes in play for the operators to be able to operate their trucks efficiently and effectively. And if we keep them uniformed, and that's our goal, is to uniform the fleet. So uh, it's easier on everybody. Maintenance-wise, it takes an awful lot to service a mixed bag of trucks. Right now, that's what we have. We have a, a fleet of a mixed bag. Um, it, just to know the diagnostics of all the competitors out there is, is just, we can't meet that from where we're at. So we chose uh, responsibly, I believe. Um, there was only one real responsible, responsible bidder, and that was uh, the Western Stars through DNK. They met our specs fully. Um, 
as far as the body builds, um, it's, it's all in uniformity and service again. Um, if we have a truck go down and another truck, sister truck goes down, we can uh, extract parts from that quickly and effectively to make the other truck go back into service that went down. Um, and some of the reasons that we didn't go with the other vendors is they didn't meet the specs fully. Um, um, the cab dimensions were not user friendly. Right now the cabs uh, that we have, the, the drivers have no place to put their gear. Um, they get in not even for a place for a lunch pail hardly. Especially if there's two operators that go out with a particular unit. They're so cramped inside there's only room for the controls and hardly anything. So we've added a toolbox to the front which helps some um, and then we added some toolboxes to the side of those particular trucks that the cabs are real narrow just to help them get their lunch pails and stuff with them so um, with the additional cab space of the, uh, the Western Stars helped us greatly um, meet their needs because they, they have input some of these operators are in these trucks 16 hours a day that's an awful long time to be in a cramped little spot um, especially you know having to get out find their lunch pail in a frozen toolbox outside their truck where their lunch is frozen um, so we thought it best to uh, include them in all our specs so this is driven also by the drivers not just mechanics and, and those around us so um, I hope I covered everything if not um, feel free to ask questions Thanks. what engines are in these uh, Western stars? The, uh, the single axles are Cummins and the tandems are uh, Detroit. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Any discussion? If not, I need a motion and support to authorize this signing of the contract. Mr. Chairman, I'm assuming, I think there were three three requests there, was there not, Chris? And that's, that's correct. Uh, we can separate them all probably do them all at the same time, I would think, could right. we not? Right. And in speaking with our finance director, we may need a resolution for the financing piece. Um, yeah, exactly. So once we finalize who we're going to go with, it, it's highly likely it'll be Ford Motor uh, Credit Corp. But uh, if we do find something more attractive locally, we want to fill in the blank with the proper vendor. So that would be next week. Yeah, okay, well, did you move it there? Yeah, as a complete package, yes. right? I'll support that. We have a motion and support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed to say <coughs> passes unanimous. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thanks for the good good report. Thank you. Okay, next up is uh, item 4F. Uh, we don't have a budget committee, or not a budget committee, uh, policy committee we did several years ago we're going to uh, after discussion with uh, administrator Overton we're going to be doing budget or uh, excuse me policy revisions through the personnel finance committee uh, rather than a s separate subcommittee we'll try that first uh, anything to say on this Mike well yeah I I, I, th I don't know that we necessarily need a separate committee for that uh, we do plan to bring uh, two or three but, uh, policies forward uh, every month. We have a number of uh, that of uh, new, of, I shouldn't say necessarily new policies, of uh, policy revisions that will be coming forward. Uh, some of which came out of our more recent meetings we've had with department heads and elected officials, asking them, you know, what uh, if any uh, policy is either in their way, or what can we do to change a policy to to move us forward. So, and we did get some good response from feedback from that. So, these first two policies here, Adam revised, uh, what was it, the, the budget resolution, uh, and of course, uh, balanced budget policy. Uh, Adam, would you like to talk about those briefly? Sure. The uh, primary changes is reflect the practices that changed over the last couple of years, moving to a, a two year uh, budget and also um, a couple other. Uh, minor things 
Jim Latham went over this uh, with me. The other aspect of it is the uh, timing, uh, because we used to do this in June. With the two-year budget, we've moved it back a little bit. And so we moved the month back to which it needs to come before the board, and which was in compliance with what we did this year. We brought it to you for the first time in August, and um, we anticipate continuing that practice. So the uh, in the first policy, the um, policy 1000 budget resolution, that's what those changes are reflected. And then the other one, which is much more brief, uh, also reflects our category or our uh, practice, but uh, our policy really wasn't considered with our practice of adopting at a category level. Category means and when you look at the budget document, you'll see personnel services, you'll see contract services, um, and there's categories for each expenditures and revenues, and that's the level at which we adopt our budget. The level at which you adopt it is the level at which the department heads and elected officials are then held accountable for it. Uh, you could go as, as detailed as a line item, or you could, uh, for many years, we just did a program budget, which was pretty broad. Uh, but our internal procedures is that we've uh, been operating under a category level budget, and that uh, g turns into practice on the uh, when we do budget transfers. Uh, we have s flags in our system that don't allow department heads to transfer um, monies or expend over a budget within that category and um, also sends up warnings whenever there's um, line items out. So again, these both these really reflect the current practices that we've been doing for the last uh, few years. Questions? Commissioner Elwell. So, Adam, a category budget versus a line item, the detail is there for the commissioners if we want it, correct, to, to look at a line item? Yes, and we always make that available to you. Yep. And the ability to move money around is simply coming before us uh, on a monthly basis to do that if necessary, correct? Right. Those uh, Some of the budget adjustments that Marcy just brought before you would have been uh, at category levels. Uh, they'll, they'll move it into a particular line, but it's because of uh, over expending a category that uh, requires the change. And then just one more comment on the policy. We uh, had a policy committee before, and it got wrapped into this committee. And I'm glad to see us looking at this. And hopefully, we can continue to look at other ones, because it's been over a year since we've been reviewing. So, Yeah. Yeah. It is kind of an anal task, so. Commissioner Leitner, please. Um, in reviewing some of the policies, I noticed that actually on this website itself, the way that it's formatted, they're cut off. Some of the, if you go through and read policies, so whoever formatted it and put it into board docs, you can't scroll over to finish the rest of your paragraph. So you only get a section of, and I'm not talking in this one in particular, but if you go back through, say, the commissioner area, it's... It's not complete because you can't read it all. It cuts off a whole section of the documents. So that's something that we kind of need to fix too and while we're fixing. Probably just a flaw, another flaw in board docs. What? No, because they're not all. <laughs> Further questions or discussion, Commissioners? Adam. Um, Commissioner Leiter, just for uh, clarification, is that on our website or is that in board docs? We're just so we know where to go. It was when I clicked on the board Okay. When I was logged in. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, I'll have a look at it then. Great. Chairman Chatwell. Thanks. I want to make, since it's been brought to my attention, recently, this continues to move the county towards the fiscal officer and the administrator's office overseeing budgets, which mean then they would be overseeing departments as well as boards, outside boards, and answer at this time to the Board of Commissioners. And if there's issues you have with that going forward, this is where you need to bring that type of stuff up.
we need to uh, approve these uh, and send them to the full board for action. Do you want to do them one at a time or both? Both. Right. Need a motion of support to send these full board? We have a motion and support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Thank you. I uh, move to item 5A, the claims. Need a motion of support to pay the claims. Are we going to help him? Support. We have motion and support to pay the claims. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Passes unanimously. Uh, item 5B, there are no other amendments to review. 5C, uh, December's reporting schedule is the treasurer. IT Department and Finance. Uh, item 6, public comments. We'll return to public comments. Appears to be no public comments. Uh, move to Commissioner comments. Any Commissioner comments? Thank you, Board. Uh, meeting adjourned.